A multiply divide node is a common math node that can multiply, divide, or get the exponent of one input by a second one. Unlike the plus minus average node, there are two inputs and each of the inputs have three values x, y, and z. Each, one, each input one value is mathematically connected to the corresponding one for input two. And remember that the order in which you input the numbers matters, meaning the input one value will always be divided by the input two value and not vice versa. The operation for the node to change the mathematical function can be found in the attribute editor. The final calculation for each x, y, and z value can be used as an output to be connected into another input or another node. The multiply divide node has many uses, but for this video we'll continue with building a stretchy limb. Now to get the stretch value, we need to get the distance between the root of the arm and the control icon, and divide it by the max length of the joints. So I've created this distance tool here, this right here. It's just a distance vector number between two locators. The first locator is constrained to the joint pad of the arm and the second locator is constrained to the IK arm icon. It is important to note that you cannot constrain these locators to the joints themselves. They will cause a cycle and break the rig. Now in the last video we were able to get the max length of the joints using a plus minus average node. I now have the other nodes I need so all I need to do at this point is create the multiply divide node and connect everything. So first thing I'm going to do is bring in the distance dimension node because that has the distance value on it. Now the distance value is on the shape node of the distance dimension. So to get to that shape node we just hit the down arrow when selecting the distance dimension node and you see it is now selected the shape node and so now I can bring that into here. Here it is. And now let's create our multiply divide node. Right, there we go. Now as I said before the order you input the values matter and since I want to divide the distance dimension value by the max length of the joints, that means the distance goes into input 1x and the max length goes into input 2x. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is connect the max length of the joints into the input 2x via the output 1d. And the reason I will explain why I do this first because when I connect into the input 2x, you see the connection is there and the, val the correct value is there. The problem is it is a direct connection and often when you do direct connections with joint translate values, especially for a stretchy limb, it can sometimes cause cycles. So what I want to do is to keep this max length value because it is the max length of the joints, I just don't want the direct connection there. And if I break the connection, the value goes to zero. So a really easy way to trick Maya into doing this is to just duplicate the node itself. And now you see the value is there, but the attribute is no longer yellow. The direct connection is gone. So I can use this now as the node for the stretch value and get rid of the original one. And so this point I can connect the distance value into the input 1x so that we got our values and most importantly I need to change the operation of the node so I need to set it to to divide because we're dividing the stretch value by the max length of the joints and if I want to if I want to see the final value result because 
like the plus minus average node, you can't actually see the final calculation. That's a part of the output. So I can just create an additional multiply divide node and connect output x into any input I want. And so you see, there is our stretch value. All right, and on to the next video where we'll go over condition nodes.